Hey y'all, it's Courtney, and I am back with another video, and today's going to be a real quick, small, little tutorial type video, DIY, whatever you want to call it. Um, I know that stores are slowly getting their stock back, getting stuff back on the shelves, but I also know some people are still jerks, and every time they find something, they'll buy it all up. And I know some places do have a buying limit on certain things, but other places don't. They just want to sell it. They don't care if it's to one person or 20 people. Um, so today, I didn't think that I had the stuff to do this, um, or I would have done it a lot sooner. Um, but I figured out that I do. Um, I'm going to do a DIY 60 second sanitizer. Um, this is not as good as real sanitizer, of course. Um, I've heard a lot of really dumb things like using tequila. Um, that does not work. Do not do that. Um, I think you have to have something that is uh, well above 60% alcohol, and uh, it's not. I think you have to have something that's like 65 plus percent um, alcohol or rubbing alcohol. Uh, which that's what this is. I have 70% um, 70, 70 isopropyl rubbing alcohol. And I just found this in the bottom of my thing. I thought I was out. Um, I think I had 90% too. But 70% will work. Obviously 90% would be more ideal. But I'm just using this just to show you guys. Um, so you're going to want rubbing alcohol of some sort. Um, preferably above 70%. But... As I said, I'm just going to use 70% because that's what I have right now. And that's what you guys are going to be doing. You're going to be using what you have, what you find around the house, because clearly if there's no sanitizer left, most people found this hack and have bought all those things too. So use what you can. Um, I'm sure there's lots of different things that you could substitute, lots of different ways that you could do this. Um, I'm sure there's lots of different videos on this, but this is just my recipe. So if I at least give you the idea to look up different recipes for stuff that you do have, then my job's done here. Anyways, um, sorry guys, I gotta do this. This is another thing. I'm having so much problem. I know a lot of my audience probably doesn't vape, but I've been having a lot of issue with, with my vape. And right now, you can't even go into the vape shop, so I'm kind of stuck with this. Like, there's screws down in this little part right here that hold this piece to this piece, and the little screws in the top of it are stripped, so it, it just keeps lifting right up out of there. And I don't know if that's what's making the connection weak, because I, I hit this on 55, usually it's on 51 right now, because my battery has been dying really quickly, so I had to turn it down, and then I'm getting a weak connection on top of that. So even whenever I do hit it, and it's not, it's not, this is not it. But I can buy vape juice right now, but I can't really go in and browse to buy a new mod. So everybody's dealing with something that's not right right now because of everything going on. So this is like, you know, minor issues. But it's still frustrating, nonetheless. Anyways, so you're going to want your uh, rubbing alcohol, aloe vera, or something like that uh, to make it gel. Aloe vera is the best thing, though. Um, I guess you could probably use a lotion um, of some sort, but aloe vera does have... Um, not healing properties. Well, it does have healing properties because that's what you put on a burn. Um... But it has, um, oh my god, what's the word I'm looking for? Antibacterial or antimicrobial purposes as well, or properties as well. So, if you have aloe vera gel or aloe vera lotion, um, anything with aloe vera in it, it's going to be helpful. Plus, aloe vera is very moisturizing. Um, so... And alcohol, obviously, is really going to dry out your skin and irritate your skin. So this is not something you want to use over and over and over and over. Try use, you know, try as much as you can to just wash your hands. 
um, because like I said, this is not as effective, but this is just for if you're in a pinch and you really need it, you have to go out in public and you want to sanitize before you, I don't know, get back in the car or if you want to sanitize before you go into the grocery store or after you get out of the grocery store or between checking out or whatever, if you have no other choice, this is better than nothing. Um, but I just want to really reiterate that this is not <laughs> ideal if you don't have to do this. Um, and then also, I've heard a lot of people using, um, oh my gosh, I can't think of anything, essential oils for the smell. And a lot of essential, essential oils do have moisturizing properties and um, some antibiotics bacterial properties depending on what you use I think the lemongrass or something like that has pretty good um antibacterial properties I'm not real sure about um oils I I don't really use them I've had a, a few essential oils but nothing to where I would know a whole lot about them but so my smell is going to come from I got this at the Dollar Tree um, and I didn't know that it was this, I just thought that it was, uh, a spray at first. Um, it's called Love Forever, and it smells just like, um, Victoria's Secret's, uh, Love Spell. And, well, it smells a good bit like that. And it's cherry blossom and jasmine, so. But, anyways, um, yeah, I thought, just thought it was body spray, but come to find out, it's silkening body mist. So... Uh, cherry blossom and jasmine with uh, vitamin C and E, which vitamin E is really good for moisturizing. And it has oil in it, um, refresh with Bath & Beauty, fragrance mist, formulated exclusively, exclu exclusively for moisturizing. Contains vitamin C and E for conditioning. This irresistible mist will keep you hydrated, leaving a delicious scent on your skin. So this is, like, perfect for that. Um, so if you don't really like essential oil smells and, like, that kind of stuff, you can literally get this for a dollar. Like, this is a lot for... Whoa. I knew that was going to happen eventually. Um, but that's a lot of product for a dollar. You can use, you know, a quarter of a bottle and still have months of use with it so anyways well anyways i need to set up my little area so that i can get mix in here so be right back Oop, what's going on here okay so um yes my bathroom sink is all effed up this is where my husband uh cleans his paint brushes every day so don't you judge me I'm kidding. Plus, this, um, you know, this thing is, like, 20 years old, so there are some cuts and some divots and some everything else in it, which, you know, whatever. But anyways, um, this is our bathroom that literally we just used to use the bathroom and brush our teeth in and that kind of stuff. Um, so this one doesn't necessarily have to be pretty. The one that we actually shower in is the one that we try to make pretty. Anyways, so... I am going to take my aloe vera gel, and I'm going to, I don't know why I didn't just get the bottle that I was going to put it in. Actually, you know what? Let's just put in enough. We don't want too much, but we don't want too little either, because we want enough to fill up a mini bottle that's going to go on like a keychain or something. So, right two tablespoons I'd say and then let's take one tablespoon of alcohol and then to get that alcohol smell out of there let's take um we'll see what one tablespoon of this does and if it's not enough then we'll put a little extra see what that does oh, no. oh okay we gotta get done with this because it's about time okay this is not working 
a scoop. The spoon is weird shaped, so it's not a good mixing spoon. So let's use, uh oh, screw it. I'll use one of my handy dandy makeup brushes. I love these things. That's really what goes on in this bathroom. This is my makeup bathroom. There's friggin' nail polish all over the place. That's really what is all over the place is nail polish and paint and everything else. So, whatever. Judge if you must. Oh, this one's a pretty good consistency. A little thicker than what I thought it was going to be. But that's good because I'm going to add some more scent. Here's our consistency so far. We want it more like, you know, like a sanitizing gel. So we are going to add, because that is very strong alcohol smelling. I guess with this though, it smells a little bit like alcohol too. So makes sense it smells like alcohol. But I would rather put a little too much uh, alcohol in first and then add the gel to it rather than having to keep adding, um, adding too much gel to begin with because I don't want to end up with too much. To where I can't fit it. I don't want to waste it. You know what I mean? So I don't want to come up with too much to where I'll overfill my bottle. I mean, I guess I could go either way. Just do a little bit at a time. Let's see. Wow. That's actually. Whew, the alcohol smell is really strong. Not going to lie. Um, so let's put a little bit more aloe in there. Just try to um, take that alcohol smell down a little bit but like I said also another little issue is probably that this does have a little alcohol in it I'm sure but we also don't want to walk around smelling like rubbing alcohol that's you know and this still isn't too too thick so Yeah, this isn't bad. This is about the right consistency. You all can see that. That looks about right. And it's even melting like, you know, a, um, a hand sanitizer would do. And I'm not getting that waft of alcohol smell that now whenever I do it so that's definitely good so I would add like I said just kind of tinker around and add a little this and a little that until you're happy with the consistency and the smell and yeah um I'm not going to add this to the container on camera because it's probably going to be a whole different kind of mess trying to do that so um but yeah Hopefully you guys come up with some really good smelling um, recipes of your own. Let me know down in the comments uh, what other recipes that you found that make them smell, you know, much better. Like I said, it doesn't smell too strong of alcohol now that I added. I think I ended up putting in three tablespoons of this um, to one and a half tablespoons of rubbing alcohol. So... And you could probably even put another half a tablespoon of that because it's still pretty thick. So, anyways, guys, I hope you have an awesome day. Um, whatever you're doing, I hope you are safe, healthy, as happy as can be. And, um, you know, getting through it. Um, I know times are tough for everybody right now. But just remember that. That you are not the only one and we are all going through this together. Even though, I mean, we're going through it together apart, you know. So, alone together, basically. <laughs> Alright, I love y'all. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.